Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to install the Virtuoso SG400 printer as a local printer computer, configuring it with the ICC profile being applied in the printer driver. Now, this will be used with a non standard graphic software, um, something that you can mirror the image, but you cannot apply the ICC profile inside the software. A good example would be. Um, certain ver versions of murals, certain versions of um, silhouette, or that type of thing, even Adobe Acrobat. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is insert the thumb drive into the computer and then browse to that thumb drive. You want to go into the SG400 drive folder and then into the PC drivers folder. And you're going to run the driver that matches the operating system you have. Now I have a 64-bit operating system, so that's what I'm going to be running here. Uh, if you're not sure, click on your Start button, right-click on Computer, I don't have Computer. Ah, this PC. I'm sorry, it's listed different in Windows 8. And then you want to go to Properties. Now on this screen, you're, it's going to tell you the system type. It's either going to tell you 32-bit or 64-bit. Since I have a 64-bit, I'm going to run the 64-bit driver. I'm going to minimize this so we can see it. You're going to accept the license agreement. We're going to add a new printer. We're going to connect with the USB cable. So I'm going to hit Next. Uh, we're not connected at this point, so don't worry about this. Just hit next on the screen. And it's going to copy files. <clears throat> Alright, next it brings you to the auto detect screen. On this screen, this is when you want to connect the USB cable from the printer to the computer. Alright, once it's connected, we're going to hit next on this. We're going to hit Do Not Set Now. And if you get this pop up about restarting, tell it No, Restart Later. All right, once we have that there, let's pull up our devices and printers. And you're going to see the SG400 is installed. Um, the next thing we want to do is install the ICC profile. So we're going to go back to our thumb drive, go to the SG400 folder and then go into ICC Profiles. and Just right click on the ICC Profile and select Install Profile. Once you have that installed, you're going to come back to your devices and printers. You want to right click on the printer and go to Printer Properties. All right, the first thing we want to do is go to the Advanced tab and we want to start printing after last page is spooled. Um, once you have that selected, let's go to Color Management and click on the button for Color Management. Now when you do this, it opens up the Color Management screen for the, for the computer, not just for the printers. Um, so you, you'll notice that it starts on the display. You want to click on this and you want to come down and find the SG400 in this list. Once you select it, you're going to check the box that says Use My Settings. Uh, ignore those. That's something with my computer. Um, we're going to come down and select the SG400. Um, you want to check the box that says Use My Settings. And then you want to hit Add and look through this list for SG400 die trans high quality. You just want to scroll through this list until you find it. SG400 die trans high quality. Now you would hit OK. I'm going to cancel because I actually already have it applied. At this point you're going to hit close and OK. And the next thing you want to do is right click on the printer and go to printing preferences. We're going to start on basic settings and I'm going to set the print quality to quality priority. Then I'm going to change the paper type to inkjet plain paper. 
Then I'm going to go to the Detailed Settings tab. Click on Edit in the menu at the top. And here at the bottom, I'm going to set the printable area to maximum. And then I'm going to go back to the menu and I'm going to scroll to the right. And I'm going to select Print Quality. We want to change Color Profile to Use ICM. And we're going to tell Color Profile Method by Printer Driver. We're going to set Gray Reproduction to CMY plus K. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to change vector to raster. Now once you have this done, just click on register current settings and name this Condi Photo. Once you have that, you can go back to your one-click presets and you can actually select this Condi Photo setting. Now once you have this, you can actually come through here and you can select different paper sizes. For this I'll do the legal 8.5 by 14 and I'm going to register another setting. We're going to call this Condi Photo Legal. So now my standard Condi Photo is going to be 8.5 by 11 paper, but when I select Condi Photo Legal, I have 8.5 by 14. Another thing you can do, you can actually, instead of naming this Condi Photo, you could name this Condi Photo Letter, and that way you can go back and forth. At this point, you want to select the one you want to use as your default setting and simply hit OK. And at that point you are ready to print. From that point when you go to print this printer, just remember to go back into the preferences on the printer and select your paper size. And everything else will be set up for you. If you have any questions about this or anything else we have here at Condi Systems, please give us a call to 1-800-826-6332, option 2 for the first available tech, or send us an email to support at Thank you.